So we love watching Bomber um, kind of um, open the door for the conversation. When he wants to go, he goes. And it's a great point by, made by Marty. And well, Marty, you're used here's, to that. Here's my, here's my point to the three of you. Yeah. You have a situation where the indigenous people of the country did not sign sovereignty, did not cede sovereignty. And Again, no, 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 there no, is dispute about that. that. And, 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 and let no, me go into no that. Let me go into that. that. There were two treaties, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. English, Maori version. Yeah. We are signed up to UN declarations mm -hmm. that state when a treaty is signed in two different languages, you have to take the indigenous language. Which right? we do. Right? And so in that indigenous language version, they didn't cede sovereignty. Now, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm not saying the New Zealand crown mm. isn't sovereign. Of yes. course it's sovereign. Yep. And how is it sovereign? Mm. By two simple ways, yeah. people. Mm. Osmosis, they've got the taxes, yeah. they've got the police, mm -hmm. they've got the judiciary, they're the state. And also the second reason you can say that they've got sovereignty is because every treaty signed, that's, that's, that's been signed off, the iwi or hapu have to acknowledge the sovereignty yes. of Aotearoa, mm. right? Now, the principles were an attempt. You're right. There was, it doesn't say co-management in the bloody no. treaty. But what they did is they got the smartest people together and said, how are we going to run this if the indigenous people didn't cede sovereignty? And so they've come up with these principles of co-management, of working together. Who's they? And, and who's who decided they, they were the smartest? The, the, the judiciary, the judiciary oh, no, and the people are who are asked are to look wrong. into this. This is, this, this is it. You need to stop reading random left-wing um, esoteric blog sites like your own <laughs> and actually pay attention. If you look at what the judiciary has said, nowhere, anywhere has the judiciary said the principles of the treaty are A, B, no, C, no, no, C, no, 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 because that, that, that was a, no one saying that. That was a okay, so that, they, hold on, hold on. Is this not a they, reason for they, us to have a they conversation? Left, they left <laughs> a grey zone <laughs> so that those people who are pragmatic amongst mm. Māori and Pākehā could work together mm. and not the ideologues who would then derail You're the entire situation. You are spending four million dollars on a goddamn six month thing that won't go anywhere. You're and you dare to sit here <laughs> and say that that's fair. That's you, bullshit, Damien. Absolute you, bullshit. bullshit. Go on, go. King. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, I started watching some clips from this this morning and I could have played 12, 13 minutes from it. I, I would just encourage you guys to go and check out the episode from last night. It was, mm. it was pretty good. But look, this is the thing. The, the, what what Bomber said is completely right, right? We, the the English treaty, right? The one written in English actually means nothing. You know, it's a it's a it's a historical document that hang on the wall. The the one written in Maori Titiriti is the only one that matters. Who's going to know better? Don Brash. Um, what what about? Um, David Seymour, who will not cite his experts when it comes to interpret, mm. he will not, he has not, and will not mention any names as to the people who he has got his guidance from, right? So Damien Grant, Hobson's Pledge, David Seymour, or actual scholars in Tikanga, in Maori language, historians, people who have spent their life understanding the words there's a thing in, in the in the church world and i'm sorry to reference this but it sometimes is my knowledge from the past called exegesis versus hermeneutics and what that means is taking a word uh, and, and its meaning but also its meaning in the era it's a really important thing to do when you're looking at historical text understanding what it meant in the era if people look up this era right the era we're in right now and they look at the word fire that's written down in a script well, unless they understand that some kids use that to mean it's good, unless they understand the context of how it's used today, they may not get the right translation. So we've got these academic scholars, we've got these historians, we've got experts in Tikang, we've got experts in Māori language, or you've got David Seymour, Damien Grant, and fucking Don Brash. Where are you putting your money? I know where I'm putting mine, Joey. Yeah, I, Don Brash isn't a dumb person. He, he's, he's a very, very sharp mind. He has a lot of expertise in his field, which is not history, which is not the treaty. Yeah. He he has got a bee in his bonnet. It's his personal fucking hobby that that Hobson said said something that we're all one people, not written down anywhere, as, as so no evidence. eloquently stated uh, by Matthew Hooten a few weeks ago. Um. <laughs> And it's it, it just, it doesn't, it's it's not a positive th way forward for this country. And I think this discussion and the people in it illustrate 
a, a graphic point that people have ideological positions. Sometimes they're thinking of this stuff in a complete vacuum from an ideological point of view. Mm -hmm. And they're not giving it the historical context. They're not looking at it from a human point of view. Why would Māori cede sovereignty to 5,000 people and the idea of a ruler chosen by God on the other side of the planet. There is no way that that makes any sense. Yeah. And we've got two treaties. It's only very recently that we, like, if we talk about having a conversation in this country, right? It's only very recently, very, very recently that we have started talking about the fact that there is, there are two treaties. One of them in Māori is correct, is the treaty by international agreement, mm -hmm. as pointed out by the UN. And then we have a bad interpretation of it, potentially you could say a bad faith interpretation of it in English. But yeah. that's the one that we got told is the proper one. Yeah. And yep. that's wrong. And until we can get on the same page and go, well, okay, let's have an honest discussion about the treaty, which we've tried a little bit, a little bit, we are not ready to have this conversation. There is not enough education in the general population about New Zealand history, about the treaty, about Māori, non-Māori relations, over the decades about the historical wrongs done and what has been done to right those wrongs the level of knowledge is not there we can't have a good faith conversation and that's why this is playing out there are people that there are bad actors in this they do not want to give up their superiority they do not want to give up their land rights they don't want to give up their economic benefits we can't talk about these things from a position of good faith because there are so many people with their thumb on the scales.